Girl, beautiful. I think you have the most beautiful breasts. God. Beautiful breasts. God bless you for them. I beg, come out. You're not gonna leave me alone. Ah, Bamu. I'm a rich man, Bamu. Rich. I, I never see such a beautiful girl. <laughs> I could teach you to be a civilized lady. And you could do no work at all. <laughs> Feel like say you don't crazy. <laughs> 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 hey, no, my mom could do this. Hey? No, no, no. No, no, no. I got a little girl. I got a little girl. She run like the world. She smooth like the water. She shine like the sky. You wanna want to with you? <laughs> she's sweet like the corn, she smell like the new grass. She dance like the tree, she shake like the leaves, she warm like the corn, she eat like the leaves. How do, how do, how do, little girl? I see you there. How do, little girl? I see you there. Preserve you. Johnson, why are you so bloody late? Sir, so the clock is fast. Clock has stopped, Johnson. Uh, 
Ah, but it was fast when it stopped, sir. Give me that PWD circular that came in from Lagos, will you, Johnson? Yes, sir. Ten seconds, sir. Uh... The point is, Waziri, you just can't do it. Why not, Lord? Because it's... It's barbaric. Oh, but it's been done for centuries. Damn it, Waziri, I'm not having women flogged. It's been a directive from the governor. But they are prostitutes. I don't care what they are. No flogging. What shall we do to them, Lord Rodbeck? Well, we put them in prison. Prison? That's abominable cruelty. They would die of shame. Well, we can't flog them. So we'll just have to think of something else, then. Well. Sally, my pet. This is the file on elephant poachers. Why, in the name of God, is it full of correspondence about tobacco? Um, uh, you say tobacco look like elephant dropping. <clears throat> this is the local exports file. Yes, sir. Johnson, what on earth has Sergeant Gollop's cow got to do with local exports? Um, I think the hide, sir. But the bloody cow isn't dead. But I think you're going to die soon. be as fruitful as the vine upon the wall of thy house. Lo, thus shall a man be blessed. And wilt thou, Mr. Johnson, take this woman, Ramu, to be thy lawfully wedded wife? Oh, yes, I certainly do. And wilt thou, Bamu, take this man, Mr. Johnson, to be thy wedded husband? What shall we say? He has paid the money back. Hmm? That's all what man they do. You know? Um, I now pronounce you man and wife. What do you go after then, Gollop? Pig? Oh, no, sir, no. No, there, uh, there aren't no pig round here. Not now, sir. A fair bit of guinea fowl, though. Oh, yes. Any leopard? It was a big one, sir. Well, they told me. Up the Balchi Road. Uh, got himself a couple of nigs. Natives, sir. Uh, only last week. I might have a go at him. I'd go with you. If I didn't have to go on this damn tour up to my doogery. Perhaps in a few months, eh? Oh, right, you are, sir. Not half. Oh, yes, yes. Aye, aye. Another one of Johnson's bloody parties. A big one, too. Probably gonna go on all night. <laughs> Oh, wear your English lady dress now. You no good. Just cover my body like a real dress. She make it. Oh, yeah, make you the seat. How oh, I go sit down when you the chop? But why now? 
Not the right thing to do. Hey, no good. You be Megida. Waziri salutes Johnson, Clark of Pada. Frank Adede. I salute Waziri. God grant you long life. So, a beautiful wife, a grand party. Expensive. But you are an important man, Clark Johnson. I hear the new judge, uh, Rodbeck, is your friend. Quite true, Waziri. Then you know everything that happens in the office. Also true, Waziri. In the government, we know all orders. Mm. Uh, Mr. Bowley, who used to be Clark before you, he was a good friend of mine. So I have heard and you gave him 10 shillings a month. Ah, much more, Clark Johnson. More than that. And he showed you all the government letters. Mm, sometimes, if a letter came about uh, the Emir or the new taxes, I read it even before the judge did. You say to me, you belong for the king. You tell me all the king's thoughts. I give you plenty money. It is the custom. You think I be deep, Waziri? England is my country. Oh, England is my home. Oh, England is my home. All on the big water. Oh, England is my home. All on the big water. That king of England, he say, I know that Johnson. I know that Johnson from Pada. He my faithful cat from Pada. Mr. Johnson, Johnson, the big man from Pada. Oh, England is my home. Oh, England is my home. Make her go away. Goodbye, Harry. See you in a few months. Goodbye, sir. Oh, and uh, say what he say. Oh, to Allah, your cable. Both are free. Well, remember what I said? Keep an eye on the aim here. And that cutting old Waziri. Uh, will do, sir. Oh, that clerk of yours, sir. Uh, Johnson. Johnson. Don't trust him. Could do, Mr. Johnson. Keep an eye on the whole bloody lot of them. Go away. Put the feet. God's name is going on here. This man owes us money. To all these people? And many more, Lord. What do you have to say, Johnson? These ignorant, savage people, they, they don't understand that. Ah, sir. Excuse me one moment, sir. I think you wait for this, sir. Yes, by God, at last. Lord Rubeck, sir, our case. 
Yes, uh, another time, I'm afraid. Uh, things to do. Away, you undereducated dogs! Away! Away! Can't you see Lord Woodbeck is thinking? Oh, yeah, away! Make you they go! Excuse, sir. Maybe you could advance me one small, small portion of next pay. Sorry, Johnson. You know the rules. You just have to be more prudent. Oh, I will, sir. But I just got married, sir. <clears throat> Look, Johnson, you'll know what'll happen. Next month, there'll be another advance and so on. Sorry. Bad idea. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Johnson, why are you so bloody late? Hmm? This is Johnson? No, sir. Prismatic compass. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, yes, sir. It will make one fine road. Yeah. Great thing, a road, Johnson. Great thing. When you've made a road, you know you've done something. You. You. Well, you can see it. You can see there's all been worth something. Yes, sir. I agree for your beautiful road. Yeah. Not going far, I'm afraid. No bloody money. Maybe we think of something, sir. A big road, bringing plenty trade. That's it, Johnson. Precisely. Yes. Not much hope for that, I'm afraid. You can do it, sir. Join the big North Road, the mighty road to Kano. The Great North Road? That's a hundred miles, Mr. Johnson. Fourteen rivers in the way. <laughs> I'll kindly return to the paperwork department. Oh, yes, sir. I bring you this. Oh, yes. That's very thoughtful of you, Johnson. Very thoughtful of you. Thank you. My friend, Lord Rudbeck and me, we are going to build a mighty road, 100 miles. Oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Johnson. Only 100 miles? That should be easy. More beer, Jolly. And you build what of that? What of that? More beer. <laughs> you silly sod! I told you, didn't I? I told you! <laughs> You've been drinking my gin. This bloody bottle was full. A man should beat his woman. Do you beat your wife, Mr. Johnson? In England, we do not beat our wives. Bamu! Oh, 
Baba Brima. Where is Bamu? He don't go our house. But now my wife. You don't late to pay your money month to month. I don't tell you. I go pay at the end of the month. Eh, when you pay, you go come. Bad, bad fool, Johnson. I hear your wife gone back to her parents. Oh no, Waziri. She has gone to see her friends. I beg her to go. Of course. And Brima, you owe him money. And many others. What can I do? I haven't got a penny. I could lend you money to pay these low rascals. Oh, Waziri, I should thank you 10,000 times. Fetch me the hello, Sally, my sweet one. Can't you say I'm busy? <sighs> uh, I must sign. Of course. The money is going to come from the native treasury. Well, that is forbidden. Should Rubek see this? Who knows? We are all in the hands of God. Perhaps instead, there's a small service you could perform. <laughs> In my view, the Waziri is the only intelligent member of the council. As you know, he is fluent in English. But regrettably, in both this language and his native Alsa, he never stops plotting and is a skillful liar. You cannot trust a word he says. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Oh, terrible. Does the judge really say that? It gets worse. 
I suspect that he shares the Emir's distaste for British advisors. Do I read more? No, 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 no. If the Emir should hear this... You'll get another flogging, old man. That will kill me. Last time, you had to lie on your face for seven days. So my debts will be paid? Yes, of course. Sanjima. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jones. Tells me he's got no money to pay the man. How much do we have left? Fourpence, sir. Fourpence? Bloody fourpence? Well, why in God's name didn't you tell me? But you said to tell you when all finished, sir. Oh, for God's sake, Mr. Johnson. I want to send a hundred men out in a clearing job. That's about five pounds a day. Fourpence. Oh, well, that's it then. Bloody bureaucracy. Sully, tell the men to pack up and go home. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I think you build the road. What? You take them from one of the other boats. Take them? Take what? The money, sir. Look, plenty money for uniforms. You write voucher for this, but spend it on the road. Mm hmm. Here, sir, the grant for the new native court. What about it? You just paint the old one, use the money. Government never know. Here, sir, there's 3,000 pounds left in the treasury budget. That's well, not road money, though. No, sir, but you use it now. And next year, when the new money come, you write all the road vouchers, but the road already finished. So they get them working. Christmas to you, sir. Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Johnson. Here. Have a piece of plum pudding. Delicious. Thank you, sir. My mother sent it from Hertfordshire. That Hertfordshire, one of the most beautiful village back home. Well, you know, a bit tiring. Huh? 
Harry, I expected to see you at the station, in Joss. I have to build this road, you know, before it rains. Oh. I thought we'd be in a town. Well, we will be, darling. We're just here for a short while. We will be. Darling, uh, this is Mr. Johnson. Oh. My heart is big with happiness, ma'am. All these people agree for you. Too much. Thank you. How charming. Johnson made this house for you. Otherwise, we'd be under canvas. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, rather. And what's in here? That, ma'am, your latrine. Your own lady latrine. I see. A kind of drawing room. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Latrine, ma'am. See, ma'am, with cover, you not catch foot in hall in the dark. I see. Wonderful. And I scrape your seat smooth, so you not scratch your leg at the back. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I think it's a beautiful arrangement. Bamo, that Mrs. Rudbeck is a beautiful woman. Her cheeks are as white as ivory. And her breasts, hey, my God. When you see her breasts, it big like pumpkin, the two of them. The king of England, he said he wanted to marry her, but she refused. Madam, this is our most wonderful picture. I mean, really. Yes, I'm loving it, darling. I want to enjoy Africa. Very good. Johnson looking after you all right? Couldn't be sweeter. He's a perfect host. Harry, what is this? It's just peanut soup. Wouldn't you like it? Well, it's just peanuts in hot water. Yes, I suppose it is. Perhaps you could clean your teeth tonight, having taken the pipe out of your mouth. That would be a change. I'm sorry, Celia. Sorry about what? I'm sorry about all of this. Are you? You don't do anything about it. Do? Well, what can I do? I'm in bloody West Africa, in the bloody bush. This isn't Mayfair, you know. You don't have to tell me that. What about that horrible peanut soup? Peanut soup! 
Any idiot can make vegetable soup, even in bloody West Africa. Why don't you tell Jemisu what you want to eat? He's not a chef at the Ritz. All right! Oh, damn it. You can go back home if you think you've made a mistake. What mistake? Marrying me. I know you think I'm a clod because I read Edgar Wallace instead of Jane Austen, and I can't tell God save the king from the, 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 the marriage of bloody Figaro. Mr. Tring, sir, I thought you're not coming till next month. Are you Clark Johnson? Yes, sir. You're late. Uh, sir, but the clock is fast. That clock has stopped. Where is Mr. Rudbeck? At the roadhead, sir. For how long? One more week, I think. And you are in charge of the office in his absence? Yes, sir. So? This is all your work. Oh, yes, sir. I myself keep all the accounts. There seem to be quite a few anomalies. Oh, yes, sir. The actual budget for the road was used up last September. So how long these payments made? Uh, from the annual budget, sir. You mean you just took the cash you needed? Oh, yes, sir. Every penny went on the road. And you falsified the cash book. Oh, sir. When the new money come, we replace all we took before. Oh, I see. You understand, Mr. Johnson. You have committed embezzlement and forgery. like a woman's touch. Settling in, Celia? Oh, yes. Soon I'll be an old Africa hand. Oh, not for quite a while. James Sue, make more small chops. Pretty girl. And get some water. Understand? Yes. Never had much time for women myself. Might have missed something then. Yes, sir. Of course, the last thing I want is to cause any trouble for Rudbeck. Oh, quite. Quite. But one has a certain duty. And regulations have been so definitely ignored, sir. I understand. But then if we'd all followed regulations, I dare say we wouldn't have an empire. It's a good road, Harry. First rate. Yes. Well, bloody train has stopped it now. Yes, well, he's going by the book. There's no doubt, Harry. Tring is an officious little... Well, he's very zealous. Oh. He's quite likely to report you to Whitehall. And that could harm your career. What can be done? Well, there has to be a scapegoat. Mm. You better sack that clerk of yours, then. Johnson. Johnson. Well, he did all the books, didn't he? Yes, but he was acting for me. I mean, it's my responsibility. He's only a clerk, for heaven's sake. You can get another one. Have you heard, friend? He's turned me out. That Mr. Trink. 
Me, Johnson, the chief clerk of father and a friend of George Rudbeck. Now, now I'm going to be a trader, the richest in father and my wife, Bamo, will have clothes like the Queen of England and silver bangles as big as robes and beads as black and shiny as a new cash box and red paint for her nails and cigarettes. I beg, come on. Cigarettes with gold ends. Mr. Johnson, my friend, come now. It's all right. It's OK. It's OK. Come. It's ben, Benjamin, it's okay. he's turned me out. It's OK. Come. Come. That Mr. Trin. Now, this cloth is from Hampstead Dam, Mrs. Rudbeck. I mean, none of your rubbish here. This is not for your natives. <laughs> Seems a little bright. Yes, you're right. Absolutely right. It is a little bright. What good taste do you have? This, for instance, I think is more you. This is the finest Egyptian cotton. Have a feel of that. Mm. It seems a little coarse. Jolie! Jolie! Hey, you two! More work, less chat. Right, you got them totals yet? Come inside. Oh, you nigs. Look, give it here. Just give it to me. Right, now, it's seven and a half percent, all right? Now that is seven pounds, ten shillings in every hundred pounds, right? Two thousand seven hundred and thirty hives at two shillings a hide. Saji, the total is two hundred and seventy-three pounds. What? You sure? Yes, Saji. Net. Yes. Oh, yes. That's what I thought. Get on with it. This your fatter way they try to sell me. No, they good though. It's good though. It's no good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Look, it's I only good. feed give you six pence. No, na shilling. Shilling. Yes. I only feed give you shilling for na this. Na shilling. Pen. Shilling for what? Yes. Six na pence. Look, if you not like them, make you they come carry your thing. They go. Hmm. And take them now. Take them. Give me the six pence. Yeah. Take them. Go. You just bought them hides, have you, Johnson? Ah, yes, sir. One shilling a hide, sir. Very good, sir. Come here, lad. Come on, come on, come closer. Here, take hold of those. <laughs> I did not touch you, did I? No, sir. I was in the store, wasn't I? Yes, sir. In the store. So, what happened to you? My face got a blow. It what? No, I had an accident. You are a very clever geezer, Johnson. You had an accident to your nose. Good morning, all. Good morning, morning Saji. Lovely day. Real nice one. Oh, yes. Come here, lad. Well, come on, then. I'm not going to bite you. <laughs> so, how are things with you today, Mr. Johnson? Very good, sir. Thank you, sir. I feel most well. Oh, that's good. That is good. I like you, Johnson. But I had to thump you because I know you are making a tidy profit off of them eyes. Now, that's all right, because so am I. Well, Saji, I never... You're a good sort, Johnson. 
Well, I mean, you know, for a nigger, that is. But, I mean, you can't help what you are, can you? I mean, God made niggers, didn't he? Just the same way that he made war dogs and dog-faced baboons. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Matungi! <laughs> Get your fat bum in here! At the double! No more chat. Pay no attention. He's been drinking. He's not an educated man. What a killer! Oh no, he could just break her arm or smash her face. That's what he would You ain't got the same kind of feelings, have you? There's a white man. Bloody niggs. My Bobby, my boy, back home in England. I tell you, Johnson, he's gonna join the army like his dad, or I know the reason why. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he'd be a general, sir. Marry a princess. He won't. Bloody brass hats. Oh. Ah, oh, he stick with his regiment, my Bobby, like his old dad. I mean, I mean, look what the regiment has done for me, eh? That's right, Saji. You a fine man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come and have a drink. Come on, come sit down and have a drink. You see, the old trouble, the trouble with old England is, is too much snobs with money. And the workers don't stand a charm. Mm. Poor Mr. Rudbeck. He work. He built that great road. But that treasure, that Mr. Tring, who got all those millions of gold. I mean, look. Just look what the army's done for England, right? I mean, there's not a bloody country in this world where we have not laid down our lives for the empire. God, mind you. Not that I'm complaining or no, no. No, it, it, it's our duty laid down by... By God Almighty. The freedom. The empire. We English people make freedom for all the world. Make them good schools for all people. All people learn book. Learn to grieve for each other. I'll say it again to you, Johnson. You're too good for a nig. It is a pity you're a nig. I mean, you should have been born one of them higher races with intelligence. Oh, sir, I a true Englishman in my heart. Up to mighty London, come a Irishman one day. As the streets are paved with gold, why they was oh so gay, singing songs of Piccadilly, Strand and Leicester Square, till Paddy got excited and he shouted to them there. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary to the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, pick a 
dearly. Farewell, Leicester Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, but my heart's right there. Mr. Johnson. Kai. They can't hear Haka. Benjamin. You take money from Saji's cash box. Just advance on my wages. You stole Saji's keys. No. I copy them. Make them myself. But Saji, if he finds Saji out. Saji in Onicha at the market. Not back till Sunday. This is wrong, Mr. Johnson. I mean, you... No. We have some beer. One or two drummers. And tonight we have small, small party. <laughs> of you, Saji Gallop. You no fit hit me. I no fit hit you? I'm gonna bleed and murder you, you bastard! Don't sit. I the go. It was here, eh? Clark Johnson has killed a merchant Gollop. You aren't murdered, though. No, I, I hate. Well, did Johnson attack you? Do you want to charge him? No. Oh, everything's all right here, Mr. Rubbeck. I had a accident. A accident to my nose. Oh well. Oh well, uh, well that's all right then. 
That's all right. Well, old son, that's it, isn't it? I mean, I, I can't have this sort of thing happening, can I? I mean, not in public. I mean, I, I've got to maintain discipline here, haven't I? Otherwise, where will we be? I'm giving you a month in lieu. I'm real sorry about this, Johnson, I really am. You was the best nig I ever had. I mean, treat them right, I always say. And they ain't half as black as they look. You weren't never afraid of me, were you? No. Never afraid of you, Mr. Gallup. How many miles had you done before the rains? Uh, about 30, sir. Um, Fada is here, mm -hmm. and we're about at this point now, sir. Oh, well, that's very good. And trade has gone up, Harry, just as you predicted, even though it's not finished. Uh, well, the trouble is, uh, it looks like it might stay that way. Hmm? What with that um, Tring controlling the vote? Ah. You think we're asking him to spend his own bloody money? Yes. Pity. The thing is, it's the ones who can recite the rule book in their sleep that get the promotion. We're going to have to be careful. This is our bank. Cheers. How do you do, sir? The clock! I think it fast when it stops. My God. Johnson. Huh. Mr. Johnson. What the devil have you been doing to yourself? Mind dreaming? Oh, no, sir. I've been in business. Oh, yes? <laughs> Tailoring business? <laughs> All kinds, sir. Any kind of business. But when I hear the road start again, sir, I think I'll come and see you. Oh, yes, but I've only got laborers' jobs, Mr. Johnson. And in six months a day, you can't work for that. Oh, sir, I like that very much. See here. Look. It's Mr. Johnson.
<laughs> I don't tell you, Bamu. Mr. Rudbeck, my friend. like a baby. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You seem to get a lot of work out of your gang. They're good men, sir. They want to make road too much. Yeah. Drummers are a good idea. Oh, thank you, sir. Three shillings. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Good morning, ma'am. And what's this, the cattle? Oh, no, ma'am. This is a zungo. A zungo? What is a zungo? For well, people, ma'am. Travellers on the road. They stay here. Oh, I see. It's like a hotel. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, I thought people just slept in the bush. Oh, no, ma'am. The bush full of lions and leopards. And... Ghosts and werewolves. Ghosts and werewolves? Come now, Mr. Johnson, you don't believe that. Oh, no, ma'am. I am an educated man. <laughs> but it's going so bloody well. Harry, if the vote is used up, the vote is used up. There's only enough money here for another week or so. We're in striking distance of the Carno Road. Sir. Better accept it, Harry. There'll be another vote for the road next year. We mightn't be here. We might be transferred to another province. Someone will finish the road. And you started it, Harry. It's your achievement. Mm. I suppose so. Right. Well, I'm off. See you all next year. A uh, full report gone to the governor, sir. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Absolutely. Bye, Harry. Safe journey. Can't say I'm sorry to be getting out of this place for a while. This is Rudbeck. Bye, all. Sorry, Harry. Johnson. I think we build roads, sir. It's not on, Johnson. You heard him. Maybe we don't need money. Oh, don't be silly, Johnson. These villagers around here aren't going to work for bloody nothing, you know. They're not stupid. And this great road will make you all rich. But to share in the riches, you must help us finish it. Kapun abaku wanandu kiyangza kutamu kiyamu mugama wana aiki ing. All workers will receive free beer. Zaba kwawa de kwawa ne ai aiki gia kyota kushakuma dukanku kukiti. The speech is good, but the day is very hot. No one wants to work. It's a shame. Then there is no chance to win the prize. Prize? What is this prize? The village which clears the most bush 
gets the prize. Five pounds. Five pounds? Who gets it? It is paid to the chief. Oh. looking at the road, sir. Like you. Mm. Greetings, lords. In Nauni, Waziri. Franca Dede. God prolong you, Waziri. You come to admire our road? The road? Mm. The road. The Emir Lord Rodbeck does not like the road. No? Why not? People from far away will travel down this road to Fada. They will not know of our Emir. They will not salute him. They will bring ideas that the Emir does not like. Mm. Who knows when the spark will be lit? Or how dry it will find the grass? You don't understand, Waziri. 
The people must have roads. But why? Tell me why, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> because it is civilized. With a road, we civilize the people. But why should they be civilized, Lord Johnson? Because, because all men like to be civilized. Amadu of Bauchi. Nagawa Tamada. <clears throat> Refused to repair his house wall, which overhangs the road. Mm -hmm. What does he say? He said he was away trading and his sons neglected the wall. All right. Well, now that he's back, he has a week to fix the wall. I'm back at Sati. Dayaki Biara. Abizu Staff, is that? Of Totaba. Levi, a trader from Abakaliki, assaulted the police who arrested him for not paying in the Zungo. Yes. He declared he has already paid both his Zungo fees. Both fees? You mean in two Zungos? Uh, no, Lord. Both fees in the Fada Zungo. You mean he had cattle? No, Lord. I mean the lodging fee and the road fee. What the devil is the road fee? Ask him who he paid it to. He paid it to the road boy. Who the hell is the road boy? Lord, the small boy who works for Mr. Johnson. Judge Rudbeck. Good evening to you, sir. Have you been stealing Zongo money? Oh, no, sir. I never think of such a bad thing. This boy's been collecting something called a road fee. A tax you invented yourself. Oh, yes, sir. He, he make a little collection. But to buy beer for laborers on the road. You never took any of that money. Oh, sir, I forget. Maybe I borrowed two or three shillings. Here, I put it all in my cash book. How did you pay your bill at Gollop store? Oh, sir, out from my pay. What about one pound two and sixpence for a canopy chair? Uh, perhaps I borrow small, small to pay my chair. And the suits? And that bed? Oh, God, Johnson. You'd steal the smell off a goat. I not steal, sir. Maybe I borrow small, small, but I pay it back. These are serious charges, Johnson. Embezzlement and sojourn guano. You know what that is? It's the collection of money by pretending to be a government official. You my good friend, Mr. Rudbeck. I did it all for you. I'm not arresting you. But I want you out of here. Understand? It's all that wretched road. Wretched road? What do you mean? Well, it's changing everything. Lorries, markets, people flooding in. Look at the pressure it put on poor Mr. Johnson. God, sleepy old father will never be the same again. Well, probably just as well. Harry! I mean it. Do you think we should come here and say, how quaint, and leave it at that? They were all happy enough. Who asked you to change things? What is the good of roads? <laughs> Spent too long on that road, Bamu. But now, I'm going into trade. I'm going to be a rich man. I'm a bold and daring man. I'm going to take care of you and my little boy here. 
love you too much, Bamu. I love you stronger than the tree grows. I love you more than the sun fills the air. Ida, make her bring chop. What thing you want? Why are you there here for the zongo? What didn't happen? Nothing has happened. What will you must work? Eh, Nabaturi work. Oh, yeah? Boma ya kalo. What are you doing? Did they go home? But she's my wife. She'll be my sister. You know want to go. It be like say I go follow my papa. Well, I'm just about to make you rich. Don't be money I define. Now my papa house. Oh yeah. Stop, stop. Please wait small small time. I know how I go get all the money where I owe you, Prima. Please, Bamu. I could buy you a, a new bed, a bed of gold with silver legs, and the net could be of fine silver thread, all laced together. Please, stay here. They say Judge Robeck has turned you out. It is false. I left my work on the road, that's all. Is that so? Waziri, I need small, small money. Money? From me? Waziri, after all I have done for you, the judge's letters. But the judge has dismissed you. What can you do for me now? You rubbish. Coming here so late with such nonsense. Where are you, Barawo? Barawo! Beat him. Don't kill him. Just cripple him. Come on.
stay right where you are, you thieving. <laughs> Clark Johnson has killed the merchant Gollop. Oh, God, not again. Tell your men to contact all the Any strangers in the house? You're okay, Waziri. Thank you, Daddy. Tunda one day, Aka Keshe Baturini. Dole Ajah name one day Keshe. And I go. How can you send me? Jensen Nang, Idamba as a Neshiba. Ajay Akamo Uni. Kowa as in any Hanyan. Whichever, whichever. Some name you any circuit. To Kaima Kasan Halina. Whichever, whichever. Then now if she. Whichever. You mean Sabota Kaza by a Hanayanka. Whichever. To Shikin and Bismillah, Jeka. But it sounds a Missy Serki. What do you define here? Pamu, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything for days. Yai, make you pass that side with Bushdi. Had it come? You're a good wife, Bamu. The best wife in Africa. Okay, make your job finish. Make you they go. I know what make my brother see you. Waziri say Ingo give big money to any person where he finds you come. Bamu, one day I go take no, all no, the money. No, no, Mr. Johnson. Make you they go. Get up, you son of a dog. I'm not the son of a dog. I'm an English gentleman. I know English gentleman would walk barefoot through your disgusting town. Yeah. Hey. 
I still wouldn't. Yeah. Sir. Mr. Joseph. Sally, what do you do here? That old man, the Waziri, he was always touching me. I pushed him away. He got angry and says I am a thief. It is all a lie. Amazing. The Waziri's friend. Hey, wonderment. This boy used to possess such power. And now, he makes you think, oh, poor Sally. Johnson, my feet hot with the rough ground. Give me your shoes. My best English shoes. Don't be so cruel and selfish. What good are they to you? In two days, they will hang you. Oh, sir, I guilty. I killed poor Saji Gallop. Don't write that, Mohammed. Don't plead guilty. Not guilty. We'll call it not guilty. I guilty. I think I saved you trouble. Did you mean to kill him then? Oh, no, sir. I agree for him too much. I didn't want to hurt Saji one little bit. But before, you said you picked up the paper file and stabbed him. Oh, sir. I just didn't think what I was doing with that thing. Johnson, I want you to understand. If you plead the killing was an accident, that's one thing. But if you lost your head, that's another. A thief who kills to get himself out of a corner is still guilty of murder in the first degree. I got a little girl. I got a little girl. I like the world, she's sweet like the water. Let me see. Uh, we know the coins are 25 pounds each. And the jam is all, what is it? Peas. Peas are 11 pounds, so. How much I weigh, sir? 15. Uh, I make it uh, 10 stone 7. That looks about right. Why you weigh me, sir? Regulations, Johnson. Take those off here, sorry. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. I beg your pardon for troubling you. You go hang me, sir. <clears throat> Who said anything about that? Nobody, sir. I guess myself. You, my good friend. You, my father and my mother. I think perhaps you shoot me. I know like hang. I'm sorry, Johnson. I have to obey the law. I shall have to sign a piece of paper to say that I carried it out exactly.
Samson ga wajen su sun zo su ganka. Hajali. Mr. Benjamin. God give you health. Good day, Mr. Johnson. Morning, Mr. Johnson. God prolong. God give you peace. Here. Whiskey from England, from home. The best whiskey in the world. Uh, Mr. Rodbeck, he, he came to the store. He said that we should give that to you. But why should he? Of course, he's going to hang me today. He's too good to me. Uh, drink some whiskey, Mr. Johnson. No, no, you have it. You, my friends. It will cheer you up. But I'm cheerful. I don't care to take anything. You have it. I see this, Mr. Johnson. You're brave. We'll be sorry to say goodbye. I'm sorry, too. I don't mind dying. I don't want to say goodbye. Prisoner ready, and we dig a grave in the bush, sir. Very good, sir. Good morning, Mr. Redbeck. God bless you. I'm sorry about this, Johnson. Yes. This made plenty of trouble for you, sir. Johnson, you remember that advance you asked for? Oh, yes, sir. If I had given it to you, would it have made any difference? Sir, I'm much more bad than even you think. I sell your papers to Waziri. I very bad low trash. Good for nothing at all. You know, if it shoot me and hang me yourself, I'll not greet them, Sergeant, do it. You know, my friend. You, my friend. Who they say? Mr. Johnson afraid. What that mean? Afraid. Is it good to eat? Is it good to drink? Is it like a man's blood when I drink it up? What that mean? Afraid, show me some afraid. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Nothing about afraid. I think he be, oh, sad. I think he be. Oh, Lord, thank you for my friend, Mr. Rudbeck. Biggest heart in the whole world. <laughs> 